Harvard Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your host, Don Getling and Gino Franti. You are probably not the top bankruptcy filer in the nation, right? And, filer? And, <laughs> no. And I'll tell and you I why. I am not a mill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I've sent numerous people to Lou, and Lou says, look, bankruptcy's not right for you. That's not really what you need. You could settle this debt. You could do this. It looks like your income is sufficient. If you only put this aside every month, you can manage it this way. So lots of different ways uh, without pushing the reset button, right? right? So you have the reset button in your arsenal, right. but you're not always using it, which right. is so different than going to one of these massive places where you walk in and you walk out filed. So there are the, the state bar certifies 11 areas of law for specialists. Bankruptcy is one. There's 100 and 44 certified bankruptcy law specialists in the state of California. There are almost 300,000 practicing lawyers <laughs> in the state of California. So you run the numbers. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just finished up an eight-year uh, run as, on the Bankruptcy Law Advisory Commission. The Bankruptcy Law Advisory Commission sets the standards of practice for certified specialists, writes the exam, grades the exams, and passes judgment on who becomes a specialist. I just finished up as chair of that commission, and I was elevated to the state bar board of legal specialization for a four-year term, which is the oversight committee that oversees all 11 certified specialist areas. And that's so, four years. In um, layman's terms, we got the guy here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. Yeah, that's why we bring him on. Right. So people ask me, you know, well, you know, what are your, you know, wh what do you compare to? And I go through that. I go, so I'm one of one. Yeah. Well, here, here's, here's something to think about. All of you out there listening, why would yeah. you, uh, you know, work with someone like Lou versus just anyone? You see a lot of ads in the, in the paper that says, oh, I'm your guy, I'm your guy. But, Realistically, there's something to be said about um, experience, integrity, knowledge, and all that rolled into one. And that's why Lou is also part of APRG. He's our chosen bankruptcy specialist. I'd say business law specialist because he helps in so many other areas. And that's what we like, Lou, is your experience. Because it's kind of like us when we do a loan versus you call an online lender. They're just going to give you a rate. Right. There's so yeah. much more when you buy a home that you should be looking at. Is down payment important? Is your mortgage payment a location? Uh, how you find the home, whom you work with, how long you're going to be in the home, size of, I mean, go on and on. If those questions aren't a asked at all, you might be pointed in the wrong direction. Well, you know, and, and leading into that, um, we all were involved a lot uh, with, when, when you guys refer me business, and I appreciate, always appreciate the referral, uh, we were doing a lot of Chapter 13s uh, where we were stripping the liens. Right. And uh, actually, during that time, my biggest competition were not other bankruptcy attorneys, but the realtors uh, yes. who were doing short sales. Um, trying to do them on their own. Yeah, and well, <laughs> and they were saying, you know, oh, don't go, don't go to Lou. He'll just throw you into bankruptcy. Get yeah. your house short sold. Well, I would say to clients, look, let's go through a Chapter 13. It's not the most fun ride, but we'll strip away the second or we'll strip away the third, ride it out for five years, California real estate has a five-year cycle. At the end of your five years, you're going to walk out with equity in your property. You're not going to have a short sale or foreclosure on your record, and you'll be more than happy. Boy, are they more than happy. Well, okay, so let me jump on that, right? Because I'm on the other side of the coin. <laughs> and uh, one thing that people don't take into consideration is that, and I'm going to pull out on an FHA guideline here, but on an FHA guideline, if you have a collection – so a lot of these people did get a modification or something of that nature, but they got a lot of collections still. Right. And those collections that are still in their credit report, well, I've got to count a liability against them. So I have a lot of people that would otherwise qualify. If they would have done a bankruptcy, boom, no problem. They would qualify to do whatever they want right and, now. And, and because under, under truth lending, the filing of a bankruptcy creates a bright line. So everything on your credit report that is derogatory from that point back has to come off. Yes, right. it, and, and you can no longer report negative information from that day forward. Correct. So it does, like you said, a bright line. So what I've got is I've got these lingering things that, you know, five years seem like a long time. I got people lingering six, seven years. But they did a short sale. Yeah, yeah, but the but short sale wasn't the death of them. See, the short well, sale was just okay. What was the death of them is really these lingering collections that's, that's on all their point. other debt. They, yeah, they, they did a short sale. They, they still lost the house. Mortgage. They still lost the house. Right. Right. And they didn't and, clean and, the and, and they have up. this lingering history. 
Yeah. Right. Where if there was no strategy behind it, really. No, there was commissions to be paid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's interesting, right? Because, uh, again, a strategy would have been key there because it's mm -hmm. not a short sale isn't necessarily bad if the rest of your credit's perfect. And I can't, you know? tell, you, I can't tell you how many clients came yeah. in to me and, and they came and I gave them all the advice I need to give them. They took the advice of the realtor. They started doing a short sale. The bank foreclosed. Then they came back to me and said, I want to file bankruptcy. I said, can't do it. You make too much money. Yeah. You don't have that secured debt. That's going to reduce your yeah, you eliminated your means the, test. I yeah. said, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I can't help you. I can't tell you how many people, good people, I had to turn away that way. Yeah, I know. Well, And you know what? You, you run into the same things we do, Lou. It's that. It's not everybody wants to hear the plan that you set forth. It's not always attractive or sexy or sounds easy, right? Sometimes it's more difficult than the plan they've heard somewhere else. But I think it also goes to the point that for a hundred dollar consultation, yes, a lot of them didn't want to pay. This is where we go all the time. Been, they could have been in a different place five years later. You just need to talk to a specialist. I mean, that's the big deal. That's why we started America's Professional Resource Group is to bring in the best of the best. Not in the networking group. You hear about networking groups all the time. But really, they're just trying to develop business. This is a group of individuals that are at the highlight of their career where their goal is to uh, have a means to uh, administer more advice, better advice, and help more people. And that's the uh, yeah. whole goal. And we know when we send somebody to you, you're, you're not, it's not about the commissions or anything else. It's really about trying to help them and do it right because that's great karma. It's good for our community, and it's good for us. And what we're, do thank you. And what we're doing now is some of those people are coming back in, and we're negotiating their debt. So part of the mediation, part of the dispute resolution process that we have, we now engage creditors and we negotiate the debt, but they're having to pay more than they would have through a bankruptcy. But we're getting the debt negotiated, we're getting it paid off, we're getting favorable reporting on credit reports. So it's it's a win-win, it's more expensive for them, but it's a better result overall because we're able to clear off the credit and get things paid and get them to move forward. And that's part of the the mediation dispute resolution services that we provide. I mean, it's great that you offer all those options because some people don't want to file bank because they don't even feel like yeah. it's, they don't feel good about it, whatever. that it, it is a tool. It is an actual tool. But in their case, you have options. And yes. that's what we're saying. Go get a consultation from Lou Esmond with Esmond Law. We'll give you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, EsmondLaw.com. That's what I think is Real the easiest simple. way. Good, Super easy. Good website. E -E -S -B -I -N -L -A -W com. Phone number is 661-254-5050. All right. So, Lou, always giving back to the community. That's why he's part of our show. I mean, that's an important part of who we bring on our show is if they're giving back to you. And he gives back more than that. We're actually going to bring Lou back. He's going to talk about the Rotary Club and so many so many things that you guys are doing for our community and uh, surrounding communities. When we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show.